diving safety officer at the Georgia Aquarium. Should be a lot of fun. These are the portable diving systems they use here. They strap tanks of breathing gas to these carts so they can move them around the aquariums. Then they're attached to long hoses which go to the divers' face masks. This is the deck around the main aquarium. Below us are the acrylic windows that the visitors are watching the fish through. And here's Norton. He's a whale shark that lives here. Norton's environment takes an entire room filled with pumps to keep the filtration system running. This represents the system in just one tank. They have different types of environments that require each their own system. Here's a freshwater environment, like in lakes and rivers. There's a kelp forest, off, like off the coast of California. And of course a coral reef, complete with wave action. This sensation is the closest you're going to get to scuba diving without getting wet. They have cold water environments, like for these beluga whales. There's an acrylic hallway that goes under one aquarium so that the visitors can actually walk underneath the fish. Here are some piranhas from South America. These are leafy sea dragons, the relatives of the seahorse. They're some of the most delicate organisms they keep here at the Georgia Aquarium. As a diver, it was strange to see fish from so many different oceans in the same place. This is a sea nettle jellyfish. I wrapped up my meeting and had to pack up and get on my way. I could have stayed watching the show all day long with the rest of the visitors, but it was time to get back to work.